Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys. Most weekday mornings I go over to the YMCA gym and spend 30 or 40 minutes on an exercise bicycle watching the TV, which is full of commercials for this, the sit and cycle. This basically says, you could be doing this at home, you know. So I thought I'd get one and give it a try. Epic Review Guys. The sit and cycle appears to arrive with some assembly required. I'll see how long it's going to take to put this together. You can buy it from the website or you can call the number when you watch the TV ad and you'll pay the better part of $300 for this. I looked on Amazon and found I could get one for $180. So that's what I did and I'll put a link to that down below this video. These are the pieces that came in the box between the stark black and white colors. I feel like I'm going to be assembling something from Star Wars here. This seems to be the main chunk of it all. Oh, it has the cranks where you'll put the pedals on and I believe in here is where the resistance is created. And your pedaling. And uh, up here is where the seat's going to attach. Remember with this there's no handlebars or any other kind of support. The seat is right here, and I can tell you already, I don't know, it doesn't have quite the kind of cush of a really nice bicycle seat. I've seen comments, a few people have mentioned, seat could do with some more cush, and the pedals could do with a better way to attach. They tend to come loose with pedaling and um, come off and you have to reattach them. And some base piece here, and some heavy metal piece here. And the instructions. A couple things I found here reading through the instructions. The first is the weight limit for this is 300 pounds. If you weigh more than 300 pounds, they don't recommend using it. The other is uh, the assembly looks like it's going to take 20-30 uh, minutes, but you don't need to have any special tools. They include the uh, Allen wrenches and a little wrench deal that you'll need. I'm going to show you a close-up here of a couple of the instruction pages. If you've ever bought things at Ikea or anything like that, I think you'll have an idea of how this works, but let me show you how complicated it is. So here's some of the assembly. If you feel you can't do this, you may be able to find a neighbor or somebody who for a real big pitcher of lemonade will sit down and put this together for you. I'm not going to go through showing you the steps of assembling it. Hopefully when I come back shortly it will be all assembled. I will though make a note. It's about 10 after 2 right now. I'll let you know how long it took me to get it all put together. 45 minutes later, here is the sit and cycle, fully assembled. I didn't run into any major problems with it. I did go and get my own Phillips screwdriver, that made it easier. But everything fit together pretty well, there were no missing pieces. And you sit up here, pedals are here, this is the base that keeps you stable, hopefully. I'm going to find out about that momentarily here. I did want to mention you can get this in other colors, red, blue, purple, they have a bunch of colors. I went with the least expensive, which is black and white. But I really think they could ask more for this one. With uh, Star Wars coming out in the near future, they could have just called this the Stormtrooper Edition. The seat height is adjustable somewhat with a release mechanism here. And um, right here is the resistance setting for the pedaling. Now this is supposed to be a low resistance um, exercise bicycle. So I think it's going to be different than the ones at the YMCA. Those um, have a pretty full seat that you sit and you can actually push against the back of it to pedal and so forth. I usually put the resistance up very high on those near the maximum because I want to sweat. I don't think this one is so much for sweating as just for keeping you burning some calories, getting some exercise, keeping the blood flow in your legs while you would normally be sitting somewhere whether watching TV or reading something. And I've got a special plan for this. I'm going to see if I can use it with my Trek desk which is a stand-up desk that fits over a treadmill. Before I move this to the floor I wanted to show you kind of a close-up of the pedaling mechanism here and let you hear the amount of sound it makes, at least at low resistance. There is some sound but I don't find it to be too distracting or too loud. I've moved the sit and cycle to the floor here right behind the desk. I'm going to just try sitting on it here and see whether I fall off the seat, the whole thing falls over, whatever. Okay, I'm a little afraid to get both feet up off the floor. Feels like it holds me okay. I'm not near 300 pounds. Now I'm wearing socks. I think they say don't wear socks, you should wear shoes. This is really low resistance. This is on number two out of eight, I think. Okay, it's not bad. I, I was a little paranoid about falling over earlier, but 
it, it feels like it's holding me pretty securely in this position. I'll have to see what it's like when I put the resistance up more, which is what I would like to do. Let me take this out the living room or somewhere else so you can see the whole thing. I have set this up with the seat as high as it will possibly go. Now what I was hoping is that when I'm using this bicycling that my legs in the process of pedaling would go out pretty much straight, but that's not going to happen with the seat at the highest. When it's at the bottom of the, the pedal, I've still got a lot of bend in the leg. So this is just how this works. It may not be possible to have it so your legs go out straight each time around because you'd be sitting so far up, you would hurt if you fell off. Now I've got the resistance set at four, so that's right in the middle. Still doesn't feel like much resistance to me. Let me go a little faster here. Put my shoes on, like I'm supposed to. Now there's no back support. I don't know how this would be over time. I guess it makes you sit up straighter. Going fast at a higher resistance, I'm going to sweat on this, I can tell. Of course, it's, I think I've got the thermostat set for 77 in here. Middle of September is still hot in Texas. It's like 95 degrees out. Trying it out now at maximum resistance. Oh, that's some resistance. <laughs> it's actually so much that it's hard to pedal smoothly through it. It's actually hurting my knee a little. Need to go get my knee support that I just reviewed for going to the YMCA. For it to have this much resistance, I would need to be able to stretch my legs out, to be able to push through and make it work smoothly. It's too high a resistance for me, at my height, about six foot one, to be able to pedal through and make it smooth. So yeah, it's bothering my knee. That was at level eight, now I'm at level one. The lowest resistance. It's like I'm not doing anything. I think you could work up a sweat even at this level just by pedaling this fast. And I can watch TV while I can hear myself clearly. There's not so much sound even going this fast to, to bother listening to the TV, the radio or something like that. I put it back to four. Now it's just nice. So the sit and cycle, $180 isn't too bad for a portable exercise bike. This is very portable if you need to take it to another room. You put a, when you're assembling it, you put a little handle on the back and it's got wheels, so it's that easy to move around, sort of like a vacuum cleaner. Feels pretty stable, reasonably well constructed. I did the constructing, but it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. Doesn't feel like a $1,200 machine that they have over at the YMCA gym, but well, I'll just have to test it out to see how long it's going to last. I will do an update video oh, in a week or two after the kids have had a chance to try it. I've tried it with a treadmill desk that I have. I can tell you one concern that I had, which was not being able to work up a sweat on this. I'm not worried about that anymore. I think in, within a few minutes you'll be working up a sweat if you find the right resistance for you. Now will this replace what I get out of going to the YMCA and using that machine at really high resistance? I'll just have to have a few weeks of trying it out to tell. You can keep checking back for those videos or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. If you're interested in learning more about the sit and cycle, there's a link down below this video. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, are gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos. You'll get notified when our videos go up, and you will. Joy, that's the wrong channel.